Hello there once again, I'm Peter Vaughan and here's another chapter of The Name of the Day. We're up to the letter Y. Now this is a letter that has so many problems for so many people. It literally means please learn the right way to do something. I'm going to do a little drawing that says here we are going through, the, through life, we're going in this direction from here. And we're running along and all of a sudden the Y pops up on the timeline in a person's life at this point. And that letter has a, a time frame of seven years, depending on where it's found. But don't get hooked up on that. The letter Y here we're talking about at the front of the name and therefore it's for all of the life. And it means every time I'm going through life, I meet a point where somebody might give me a direction and says, hey, you want to come here and do this? And it means going up this way. Well, you should be going in this direction. And you think, yeah, I'll do that. Not thinking. And you get to this particular point here, which has now wasted this much time of your life. And you get something else happen, which makes you go in this direction. Uh-oh, you're going backwards. That means that you're not thinking about what you're doing and a lesson is learned. Understand that. The letter Y represents you will learn lessons until you understand and think about what you're doing. And when I mean think about it, the letter Y is the 25th letter of the alphabet. And 2 and 5 equals the number 7. And that one there represents the key word wisdom. Wisdom means to understand what you're doing. So this is a very important letter to understand. And with that, as a male's name, I've got Yosef, Y-O-S-E-F. And for girls, I've got Yvonne, Y-V-O-N-N-E. -N -N -E. Now, some letters are silent in English. In the surname Vaughan, which look, sounds like that, Vaughan, is spelled V-A-U-G-H-A-N. You've got this part here, which is not in the sounding of it. So Yvonne sounds like it starts with an E, and it doesn't. There are reasons why the letters are important, even if the sound is incorrect, according to what the letter Y sounds like, as opposed to the letter E, and it sounds like Yvonne here. So Yosef here, we've got seven, six, one, five, and six. And Yvonne, we've got seven, four, six, five, five, and five. With Yosef, the letter, as I've mentioned, as I started here, it's a learning letter. All of the life, it's learning and gaining knowledge to do the right thing, to become balanced, to think things through before you go and jump into things. So here we have 7 and 6 is 13, 14, 19, 25. Now here we have another interesting thing. 2 plus 5 equals 7. 7 is the key word for the number 7, which means wisdom. And there's the Y telling you, don't go this direction, don't go that direction, stick to your guns and go that way. So Yosef and the letter F at the end of Yosef is a letter that says, Value 6, as you can see up here, it says, irrespective of what I have here and what knowledge I've got up here, I am going to tell people how to do things responsibly and carefully. Because the number 6 represents responsibility. The letter F, O and X are also number 6 letters that say have responsibility with what you're doing. So, why? Learn quickly and understand life. Be responsible with that F there and use wisdom. Yvonne has got the letter Y at the front as well, and that 7 says wisdom again. 7 and 4 is 11, 17, 27, 32, which is 5. The letter E is a 5 letter, as you can see at the top but it's Y, which is a 7. But it's interesting how the last letter of Yvonne is 5. The two letters before the end, the ends, are also 5s, and the name sums to a 5. 
So Yvonne is going to be subjected all through their life with learning many, 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 many things and a lot of areas. Not just one area, a lot of areas. And with everything they learn, they're going to be gathering knowledge about it on subject matter which involves a great deal of stuff. I knew Anna Vaughan once upon a time and she was a deaf girl. Uh, she had hearing equipment in to help her, but boy, did she understand a great deal of stuff. And when I showed her this material, I also learned she was doing it because she was into psychology. So a very smart girl. Now, the number five here represents everything or many things. It has freedom to choose. And five here is a number of people. So people who are number five are often teachers. They're out there helping children in classrooms. Uh, they could be people who are tradesmen, teaching apprentices. They could be at trade schools, universities, high schools. Or they could be trainers in different areas, even in the military or other aspects of life. They are people people, but because five has so much knowledge about so many things, they need to learn focus. And Yvonne, once they have focus, that means they're more powerful and can get things done. A positive Yvonne will be able to manage people very, very well. Yosef, a very quiet, silent person in many ways because they are forever thinking about what they're doing. People, when you get to meet them and you're in groups chatting, you're going to find a person who's more quiet than anybody else will be a number seven named person. This is a fascinating subject. So I don't know anybody called Yosef, although I think I did once upon a time, but I cannot remember him very well. I've known a few Yvonne's. But if you found this fascinating, I thank you for watching. So click the like, like button and even subscribe. And as Peter always says, everything is in your name. Hi, Peter here again. If you liked what you saw, I have a full personality profiling service, but not just from your first name, from your whole name and your date of birth. The report covers your hidden skills and talents, what motivates you, how others see you, and much, much more, even an in-depth forecast. Follow the link in the description below for more direction. And again, thanks for watching.